Hey, what's up everyone? This is Rafael from iFix Logic Boards and today I'm working on iPhone 6 Plus with no backlight. Uh, the phone turns on and you probably cannot see but there is a faint Apple logo which means the screen is actually turning on, the phone vibrates and you can make uh, phone calls but you just cannot see anything because it's just super dark. There's no, uh, no backlight. So let's take a look at it and see what's going on. So I'm going to unplug the battery, remove the screen, and the first thing I'm going to do is check for voltage. Let me start recording on, under microscope. So first thing I'm going to check, let's make this in focus, is I unplug the battery, so it's cool, but these two need to get uh, battery voltage, these two pins. Um, we need to get a VBAT. <laughs> Set up the multimeter. So I'm plugging the battery. I'm going to have my meter like this. Hopefully you can see it. Uh, where are we? There's one. And there's the second one. Hopefully you could see it. Now let me see it. So one was 3.7, that's normal, and the other one's 2.81. So there's definitely something going on uh, on that second line here. Now what's unusual here that, uh, hmm, are we boosting? Uh, so the next thing I want to check is, is the booster working? Uh, so I'm going to have the battery unplugged, plug in the screen, and I'm going to power up the phone. Can I see the apple? Yes, yeah, there. So I will let it boot up, and then I will unplug the screen, and then I'll check the voltages and see what's going to happen. Because uh, when the screen is on and you unplug it, it will still send power thinking that the screen is plugged in so that way I can tell is there um, uh, the VBAT 4 volts around you know the 3.8 or is it going to jump to like 15 to 20 volts that's where it should be so what I'm going to do is unplug it very quickly okay so the phone is still on it has power on the connectors that's why you burn when you're replacing the screen and you leave the battery plugged in there's still voltage going on so if you cross your uh, connector it will actually short out the backlight and that's why you have no backlight uh, okay so let's start recording so now this is live uh, so this one is 4 volts and this one is 2.8 now let me Turn on the screen. We are at 20 volts on this one. And we are at 5 volts on this one. Okay, so the top one is showing normal 20 volts. And this one, it might be the booster or it might be... I don't know. Let's just check it out. I need to remove the shield. I like to check on the bottom of uh, the shield because sometimes when the coil goes out, you can actually t see where it's burned on the on the on the back here. So that gives you a clue. But in this case, this one looks pretty clean. So okay, so here's the ZXW tools, and uh, we have a problem with this line here. Here's the filter, and it shows that problem is with this booster most likely that's the first one I'm gonna do replace this booster which is right there so there are two chips here uh, this is the top boost booster and here's the bottom one and this is the one we're gonna replace since this one is not really performing and then once I remove it I'll probe the pads to see if there's any short or any of the lines I'm gonna put some flux Put 
some flux and I'm just going to clean the pads a little bit Oops. okay I'm going to have to see through both eyes I'm going to clean the pads. And let's put a new socker in. So I'm going to probe the pads. Uh, only one pad, this one, should have ground. And if anybody else has a ground, then that means there's a short. Just glancing through. Okay. So we should be fine there. They're supposed to be non-magnetic, but there, <laughs> there are. Stay. You can see it's pulling in. And that touched down. Okay, and we just got a jizz from the coil, I guess. Okay, so now that I have this soldered in. I'm gonna plug my good nose screen. Yeah. Plug power in. Pressing power. Hmm, still getting up. So we are still getting no backlight. So right now I'm just trying to have a feel if anything here is getting hot. I'm seeing a faint picture. I'm gonna try to measure voltages. Three seven five. Three point four. So it is a lot better. And now I will. Turn on the screen. Shake it today, 12.9 and 20. So there's still something going on on that line. Uh, so it's this filter here. Let's see how it looks like. Because the filter might like show that uh, it still has connectivity, but maybe it doesn't take the load. Right here, so what I'm gonna do if my probes work. You see? Am I getting anything through this filter? So, it looks like this filter has to go. <clears throat> I just resoldered a new filter. Let's see what we get. It looks like that was the, the problem. We'll let it fully boot. Hopefully this phone has no touch IC issue, otherwise known as touch disease. Oh, did you just notice that the screen, f okay. 
So you can see we're <clears throat> having a half backlight issue right now. Uh, one of the sides is still a little bit lower, like when I plug the screen. One anode has 20 volts, the other one has 15 and a half. So there's still something going on on the one line. I was uh, probably going around because I'm like, what the hell is going on? Uh, continuity. So uh, I checked this one here, right? That's the filter. And check this out. Nothing. These two are not. This filter is out. So let's replace it. I just replaced the filter and now we have signal from this end so we should get power from the booster so now both lines have good continuity let's fire it up backlight and I can already see that the backlight is working here but let's let it fully load and bam you can see the backlight is fully lit next to the uh, battery percentage still probably booting I don't know why it's saying phone disabled it's probably because it, uh, the clock is reset but the backlight is working that was the objective. If you have the same issue, go to ifixlogicboards.com, ship in your phone for repair. Uh, if you have any questions, leave a comment, and I'll catch you later in the next video.